So before we begin, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. I post every Monday and Thursday. Also, do not forget to hit that notification bell before we move ahead. So first we are going to create nighttime landscape and for that I am looking for purple, dark purple color and blue color and pink color as well. So once I have all of my colors ready with me, I'm just going to select soft airbrush and I'm just going to increase the size of it and I'm just going to paint all of the colors all at once as you can see here. So once you are happy with all of the colors, then just go ahead and select Gaussian Blur and add Gaussian Blur to all the colors to create gradient, to create a good nighttime gradient and also I'm just resizing it and adjusting it um, according to my preferences. And once you have that, you just have to create a new layer just above that and select Soft Airbrush just decrease the size of the brush and I'm just gonna start drawing some electricity um, uh, I don't know what you call them transformers I don't know so let me know if you know what to call them right so I'm just gonna draw that And now once I have that, I'm just drawing some electricity wires connecting to that bar and making it look like some city sunset nighttime effect, if that makes any sense. And also to create that effortless shape, just go ahead and draw that curve and hold onto it and it will automatically create a seamless effortless shape like that So once you have that, just create a new layer and start creating or drawing trees. Now it is totally up to you. You can skip this step or the shape of the tree or the type of tree that you want to draw. It's just totally up to you. So I'm drawing some trees right here. So what I'm basically doing here is I am first creating the silhouette of the tree and then I will go ahead and fill them up with the same color and mind you I am using dark black color for all of the elements that we are drawing on the foreground
so now I am drawing a moon so for that what you want to do is just create a circle and fill that circle up then you have to pick up eraser and crease the size of the eraser and you have to cut out the circle so that you can get that crisp, crisp half moon effect if that make any sense so as you can see here I'm just cutting the whole circle and I got this really crisp and sharp looking half moon so now what I'm doing here is I am just decreasing the size of the brush a little bit more and I'm creating these stars here and there so that is for the layer that we created the moon in so you want to keep all of the stars there only you have to keep all of the stars where you have created the moon so once you are happy with all of the stars and the moon what you have to do is you have to duplicate that layer and you have to uh, add Gaussian blur to that layer so that we can create this glow effect around the moon and around the stars as well and once you have that glow just to make it look more prominent what you want to do is just duplicate that glow layer once again and then from there you can adjust how much glow you want by just adjusting the opacity of the layer and here you have it really really quick nighttime landscape now for the second landscape i want some sunset -y look so for that i'm using this pink coral kind of color and then i'm using some uh, really desaturated yellow color and a lighter yellow color so that's what i'm doing right here and i'm just gonna add gaussian blur as we did with the previous one and here what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna adjust how much uh, how much of color I want on the top and on the bottom now once you have that you want to create a new layer again and we are gonna draw that electricity transformer kind of thingy once again and yeah I'm just gonna do that again but this time I'm gonna draw three of them and the one which is way ahead is gonna be um, longer in length and the one which is right behind it is going to be shorter in length and it is just going to go on like that and it also depends on you how much want to draw how much you guys want to draw these electricity transformers so it just totally depends up to you And now what I'm doing is I am creating some tree bushes kind of effect so for that I'm using this uh, brush and I'm just creating this bushes kind of plant kind of effect just above just at the bottom of the electricity transformers now i am creating some clouds so for that i'm using this rainforest brush and i'm using really desaturated not really desaturated but kind of desaturated reddish coral maybe orange kind of color and i'm creating this whole cloud effect and once i am happy with the silhouette of all of the clouds and also make sure that the clouds over the yellow part of the background are going to be lighter as compared to the ones which are darker on the darker area and also adding some depth 
to the clouds by just using this similar brush and now i'm just gonna go ahead and pick up a orangish yellow color and this should be lighter and should be a little bit saturated and i'm just using this color over the clouds where i think the sunlight is hitting and also make sure that the layer where we have drawn all of the clouds should be at the bottom of the electricity transformers and all of the plants that we drew. So I'm just shading here, just adding more yellow color over the clouds. Now it is totally up to you how much you want to add. You can also alpha lock the layer just to make sure you're not messing it up. Now here I'm creating moon and for this landscape I am keeping the full moon effect. And once I have the full moon, I'm just going to keep it under the clouds like that. And once I have, I'm just adjusting the size of the moon just a little bit. And it just depends on you how you like it. Now, once you are happy with that, just duplicate the layer. And you want to create that glow effect around the moon. So for that, again, just add, just duplicate the layer and add Gaussian blur to the one which is at the bottom. I hope that makes sense. Now I'm just creating a new layer just underneath it and I'm just gonna choose this light pen from Luminance brush set and I'm just gonna draw stars here and there. And once you are done with that, you are basically done with the second landscape as well. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please subscribe to my channel.